Hey guys, it's Alice. How's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have some interesting... That's my water bottle <laughs> popping. Um, so today's gonna be a fun video. I got some interesting products in PR. Thought it would be fun to play with them in a video. Kind of do like a little first impressions demo swatches we have a few things from a very indie brand called syzygy it says here on their website syzygy is the first cosmetic brand to feature all duochrome duochrome products each product reflects at least two striking colors at once so you can use alone or over other products to create a multi-dimensional effect uh, they don't test on animals everything is cruelty free all products meet the requirements of co cosmetics regulation in the usa and Europe. Yeah, what I have here is a little eyeshadow palette and then some amazing like liquid lipstick, lip topper type things. And I think it'll be fun to play with this dual chrome stuff and see what it looks like layered together and on top of different things. So if you want to see, let's just fucking get into it. The first item that I'm going to be playing with is just really, I like just, this looks so freaking cool. I need a background that looks like this. Open this up. This is the Cosmetic Crush eyeshadow palette containing six chameleon glow eyeshadows with transformable colors from different angles this palette goes beyond everyday cosmetics to give you a powerful makeup experience and the pans are pretty large they all have names it's $23.99 and you can get it on syzygycosmetics.com or on amazon there's nothing better than amazon prime makeup in two days with free shipping literally there's nothing better than that tell me something that's better than that first one right here mock moon phosphine chatoyant getting crazy with these swatches these are big swatches so the next one is halo my favorite video game and then we've got nebula wow and then the last one is nova The top two definitely look like toppers. And then the bottom ones, I mean, those are standalone shadows right there. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I just found the most amazing inspirational look. Cause I wasn't really sure what I wanna do with this because I'm gonna use all the colors and I know I'm gonna need to be strategic with that. Pro Apropos makeup, I might try to create something like this. This looks really nice. Might as well like it, shit. Wow, okay, her entire feed is just chock full of amazing rainbow colorful, like rainbow but dark. That's my jam. I love like rainbowy but kind of dark. So yeah, this is definitely my inspo for, for this look today. I think first I'm gonna just do what I always do for every eyeshadow look and I'm gonna pop down a transition color in my crease. This is the Pro Fusion Eye and Cheek and I think I'm gonna do this color Embrace. And then I like to bring that down on my lower lash line as well. I'm gonna end up covering this up with a different color anyway but I just like to have something to go by to kind of get the shape down okay so next I really think like a dark sticky kind of base is gonna be good for these shadows this is the NYX jumbo pencil in black bean you're really gonna need to show them who's boss while you're blending this out because if I were to just blend like a normal like like a normal powder eyeshadow it would literally just be moving my eyelid around you kind of really have to stippling flicking motions i'm gonna do the same thing on the lower lash line so i think i'm gonna start out with nebula and i'm just gonna load that up on a flat brush start out by putting that over here 
oh my god it is taking me it is taking me to outer space i'm in outer space <laughs> i'm gonna bring that around on the lower lash line as well outer corner of the lower lash line wow i hope the camera is doing this justice because it looks absolutely ridiculous with these lights i'm gonna go into ch chatoyant chatoyant somebody please help me and i'm gonna put that next to it kind of in the middle of the eye and i want to kind of take it up even into the crease yeah you know what okay i need as much lid space as i can possibly use today you know something's good when you just you just can't stop like shaking your head i mean it's too good so I'm, I'm doing the same thing on the lower lash line as i do on the top what it just builds up so beautifully i can't my brush isn't even wet i haven't even i don't even so right now i'm taking nova on a, just a little bit of it on my blending brush and i'm kind of just using that to blend out the edge which i and this is just turning out so cool because nova has a brownish base to it so when the light's not hitting it it just looks like a brown but when the light hits it it's like hello bitch so I'm putting Halo on my inner corner, which I'm starting to regret right now. It's a, an absolutely beautiful color, but I feel like I look Christmassy now. Just taking Nova and blending out the edge of Halo a little bit. So I'm grabbing Mock Moon and I'm popping that on the inner corner. Wow, that is a blue. That's freaking ridiculous. I wonder how, what that would look like if I put it on. Mm. I'm putting a little bit of Mock Moon in the middle of my lid at the base. Mock Moon changes all of these. It turns Halo into more of like a purple, Chatoyant, the green one, into more of like a teal turquoise oh my god obsessed oh and the last one i haven't used phosphine i'm gonna amp up my brow bone a little bit there's already some highlight there but i feel like phosphine could definitely join the party now what i'm going to do is take a slightly clean brush and i'm gonna go into this kind of like basic cream shade and just blend out these edges just because i feel like i went a little ham and it's a lot of shimmer i feel like i need a little black in my waterline so i'm just gonna do that really quick i'm gonna do push liner i learned this from wayne goss he's always mentioning it and that it's great for hooded eyes so you take some black black eyeshadow on a nice thin brush you push it in at the base of your lashes that's literally probably why it's called push liner and we'll do a comparison of one eye versus the other i can't get over this eyeshadow look right now it is so beautiful up close you can make it a little thicker towards the outer corner, which is what I like to do, thinner towards the inner. But there you can see kind of like it, it makes a little bit of a difference. And especially once I put my lashes on, it helps conceal the band a little bit. So I like to do it on the top and then just a little bit on my lower, like the lower outer. Next, I'm super excited to try out the lip products from Suzuji. So these are the Comet Crush Liquid Lip Color. So it says that you can put these on top of a, a lip color to kind of like amp it up and give it like a really cool dual chrome finish. Here we have Twilight Tavern, Chatoyant Stone, and then the top one is Phantom Assassin. Really stunning when the light hits. When the light doesn't hit, it's kind of like more sheer and streaky looking. So I'm gonna try Chatoyant Stone on top of the matte black. Oh my goodness. And then I'm gonna try doing Twilight Tavern 
Try putting that one over here. I don't know what the deal is with Twilight Tavern, but it like starts picking up and takes away a little bit of itself. And I feel like it was kind of wearing away a little bit of the black. Next, let's do Phantom Assassin. I'm just gonna put it over here. Okay, I got a little carried away and I put Phantom, Phantom Assassin everywhere just cause it has this, these big pieces of glitter, like blue glitter, it's just absolutely amazing. All right, and here's the finished look with the Syzygy Dual Chrome Collection. The lip toppers, um, a little bit of a miss for me. I think it, they look really cool right now. This would be something that I would do for like a picture, Instagram picture, something like that, like something for fun. But I wouldn't, and yeah, just that doesn't look good. I'm going to fix that really quick so I can like feel comfortable talking to you guys. Hang on. Okay, that's a little better. I just put on Tootsie Lip Liner from ColourPop, which is has to be one of my absolute favorite formulas and colors of all time. They're kind of a miss for me, honestly. I tried to make them work all by themselves. It's not, they're not opaque enough. On top of another product, I tried two different liquid lipstick formulas and each time it kind of like starts removing the liquid lipstick that's underneath it and then it also never dries down and kind of remains like tacky just not my favorite i think these would be so amazing if they were gloss instead of a like matte liquidy kind of sticky never drying down situation as for the palette i'm so happy with the palette i absolutely love how the eyes turned out i think that you could probably just pat a little bit of any of these shadows on top of your lips and get a really cool duochrome finish without having that sticky feeling. So I'm just I'm really happy with this palette. I can't wait to try it out some more and see how it looks with other shadows. Um, I have good news actually. Syzygy sent me an extra Comet Crush palette to give away to you guys. So. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, it's brand new, never been used, and all you have to do to enter the giveaway is like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment. You could just be like, hey, what's up? You know, you can say whatever you want. Just make sure to include either your Instagram or your Twitter name, that way I can message you if you win, and I'll pick the winner out of the comments in a week from when I post this video. So, good luck. I absolutely love the palette and hopefully one of you guys will love it too. I thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think. If you like the palette, would you use it? Uh, do you want to see another tutorial on it? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. I can't read. Either I can't read or I just don't understand English. <laughs> Syzygy. Syzy Syzy so I think I'll just, uh, fucking focus up with, okay, can you, like, talk? I I'm probably just gonna end up, I'm, bitch. I don't want, I don't want water, I wish that was wine. <laughs> This bitch doesn't actually know what she's doing half the time. Just kidding. Just kidding, people. Where's the lid? All right. It's gone forever. Right in front of me. I knew it. God damn it, bitch. Okay. Oh, but now I'm putting red and green together. Why do I always do that? Trippage and off on my lower on my under eyes right now god dude shut the fuck up like if you don't know what you're saying shut up dealing with the saint and sinner palette is literally the worst <laughs> i can't i can't use like there's no point in the mirrors that are in there <sighs> if, if my camera could just like record when i want it to without me having to hit record that'd be great hey siri how do you pronounce shit toy and stone my web search turned something up for how do you pronounce shit to landstone. <laughs> shit to landstone is what she thinks I just said.